and that's Bishop Agnolo. Uh, they came to meet with us. The leadership of Azmiul uh, Omoja One Kenya. And we have had uh, a very fruitful and productive conversation. They have uh, raised uh, issues which are of concern both to Kenyans, uh, to the, the church, and also to politicians in our country. It has been a very interactive conversation, and uh, we are very happy and pleased with the role that the church is playing. Um, we, we don't want to agree that the, the contents of this conversation uh, now will remain among us, uh, but we will be talking uh, later. Again, I want to take this opportunity to thank Kenyans who have uh, come to our uh, meetings in the past. Um, there was an announcement today by the governor of Kisumu um, about the demonstrations of Kisumu. We have talked with him and he has um, actually asked us to announce that there will be demonstrations in Kisumu tomorrow, uh, just like there will be in the rest of the country. Um, we want these demonstrations to be peaceful. As we have said, we are invoking provisions of Article 37 of our Constitution. These demonstrations must be peaceful. And we also urge those who are planning to try to disrupt them, to desist from doing so, in the name of our Lord. Thank you. Nitatumia lugha ya kiswahili kwanza tukishukuru nafasi tumekuwa nayo na Right Honorable ambaye ni kinara wa Azimio. Na tumeongelea yale tumeyaona na kwanza tuwapa pole wale umeumia na tumeongelea kuhusu kutafakari jinsi ya kuishi na amani kama wakatuliki jumapili tare mbili kuna maandamano huwa tunafanya ya uh, Palm Sunday iwe ni peaceful na tuweze kufanya kazi zetu kwa amani na huku tukiomba pia Situ polisi polisi na washika da wote wa um, uh, security tuheshimu na tuweze kuwapa nafasi watu kutembea bila shida uh, ni wazi katika sasa uh, mazungumzo yameanza na tutaweza kuwashirikisha lakini kwa kwa wingi tungewaomba jamani kama tulivyo wa Kenya tunajua inawezekana kwa sababu tukianza kuvuruga zaidi, kuumiza zaidi, tutakuwa tunapotezeana muda. Vijana hata wemaliza mashule vizuri, ma, mashamba hata limika. Kwa hivyo mimi na maaskofu wenzangu ambao tuliandamana nao, askofu Muheria, askofu mkuu Philip Wanyolo, askofu uh, John Obala kutoka Ngong, na pia Skof Dominic wa kutoka Eldoret na katibu wa uh, uh, ofisi yetu ya maaskofu uh, uh, Padre uh, Ngaruya so tumekuwa na muda mzuri wa kuzungumza tumejaribu pia kuelewa mkenya unavyoumia na pia una changamoto ni nyingi lakini tusiende zaidi tujiumize. Kwa hivyo tunaamini maombi tutaombeana na tunaamini kwamba it is possible to get this country back to where it was. We were doing well, we are doing well already but we can do better. Kwamba tuwe wa Kenya wanao um, zidi kukaa na amani. Kama kuna wenzako wanaona na shida, tujaribu kuwasaidia. Na pia serikali tafadhali mnalikwa
kuweza kutumia njia za sawa sehemu ambapo tunaona kumeponyoka tujirudi jamani mnaelewa naloongelea uh, kuna watu labda wamesemekana wana changamoto zao kwa sababu wamekosa ulinzi na sina labudi kusema kwamba Mungu yu nasi Mungu abariki nchi yetu ya Kenya sote tuwe watu naopenda nchi kama tulivyoonyesha wakati wa uchaguzi na mengineo na mwishoni jamani ni kipindi ambacho cha ndugu zetu wa Uislamu tuwatakia mfungo mwema